Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this video we are going to look at 10 pace special tricks that you need to know. So let's get started. For our first pace special trick we are going to use it to convert positive values to negative. So a typical situation may be that you have downloaded data from a website or some external source. These may be outgoing payments, so should be represented in a negative way, but they are positive. Now to convert them, we can simply enter minus one into a cell. I can then take a copy of that value, select the range I wish to convert, right click and in my paste special options choose values and multiply and if I click OK by multiplying those positive values by minus one that will convert them to negative for our second trick we will use paste special to transpose data now Excel will always prefer your data to have a header row and to come down in columns. That is just a natural way for lists to be presented. But it's not always how we receive our data. So on screen I've got data coming across in rows with the headers in the column and we're going to use paste special to switch it the other way around. We simply highlight the range in question and take a copy and in the top left cell of where you want that to appear again we can right mouse click and choose transpose from the paste options which has this icon of this kind of column into a row or in our case row into a column at uh, switching you give that a click that is job done we can then go and remove any excess data that we don't need anymore like these three rows above my range right now Possibly the most common reason to use paste special is to remove the underlying formula from a cell. So I've got these formulas in range B2 to B6 right now and I may wish to keep the result but remove the formula because I'm sending it on to a customer and I don't want them to see the kind of rates that I'm applying. Another common reason to do this is to speed up the processing of your spreadsheet. If you don't need a formula anymore, get rid of it. So to do this, I simply highlight the values uh, containing those formulas. I right mouse click and take a copy and with the same range still highlighted, right mouse click and choose values from your paste options. And when I click back onto these cells, I can see there is no longer a value inside those cells. It is just the result, just that um, answer that value left. A secret trick that not many Excel users know is that you can use Pay Special to copy column widths. So on this spreadsheet, quarter one, two, and four have got consistent widths, but at some point in time, quarter three seems to have been edited accidentally. So we're going to make the same column width present in let's say column D into column C. I simply start by clicking a cell in column D and take a normal copy but then click a cell in column C and when I go into my paste special options choose the option for column widths and when I click OK that same column width is repeated to the cells I had highlighted. For pay special trick number five, we are going to use it to convert text into a number. So in column B, we've got some numbers stored as text. And some of you watching this may have experienced this before, this issue when you're getting data from an external source where your numeric values are stored as text, rendering them almost useless. So what we're going to do is convert them 
we simply enter a value 1 into a cell, take a copy of that value, select the range we wish to convert, and if I right click and go into my paste special options, choose values and multiply. And by clicking OK and multiplying those values by number 1, that action will convert them into a numeric value. So I can now get all the joy that Excel give to me when dealing with numeric values. A brilliant Excel trick this one where we use Paste Special to copy the formatting between two charts. So the chart on the left has got the formatting that I want. The chart on the right has been inserted and nothing done to it yet. So you can see quite a lot of differences with the, the color of the columns, but also the, the grid lines, the axes, you know, so other significant chart differences as to what elements are shown and how they are. Now all we need to do is take a copy of our first chart, then select the chart we want to apply the formatting to, and I'm going to click the Paste drop down on Home, and go into Paste Special this way. I do not believe this is possible when you go through the right click Paste Special options. I'll choose Formats from the list, click OK, and all the chart formatting is repeated, ensuring a consistent look and feel to all of my charts. Another conversion trick for Paste Special trick number seven, where we convert values into a percentage. So the values in column A, once again, possibly from an external source, or from an external body, and they've come to us indicating percentage, but they're not in that format. So that may cause issues with our formulas and our charts and how we want to present our data. So all we do is type 100 into a cell, take a copy of that value, select the values you want to convert, right click, paste special, and choose values and divide. By dividing those values by 100, we'll convert them into a percentage. Now they are initially shown as a decimal value, but we can then press our percentage button on the Home tab to give them the correct format and appearance for the people who are using this spreadsheet. Now talk about doing percentage calculations it may be that you need to add or subtract a specific percentage from a value. So in this example, we are going to add 10% onto the values in column A. Now to do that, we can enter 110% or 1.1 into a cell, take a copy of that value, select the values that you want to increase by that 10%, right click and paste special and choose values and multiply by multiplying a value by 110 percent or 1.1 that will increase it by that 10 percent we can use this same technique to decrease a value if i want to decrease it by 10 percent i would multiply it by 90 percent i would enter that in the cell first copy paste special it over values and multiply when i click ok each value has now increased by that 10%. The most common operation you will see Pay Special used for is to add values to an existing value. So this may be that you need to add this week's sales on top of last week's sales or this month to last month. And what I've got to demonstrate this here are numbers in A and numbers in C. These will typically be on different sheets or different workbooks entirely. Here they happen to be columns side by side. Don't let that mislead you. They do not have to be like that and probably wouldn't. Now I'm going to highlight the new values, which I'm imagining is column C. I'll right click and copy. Select the previous values, column A here. Right click, paste special. And I'm going to choose values and add. 
so add these values on top of the existing ones click OK and that is done for the final paste special trick we will see it used to skip blanks in a range so imagine we have some new data uh, that we want to replace the previous data within this example so instead of adding it on top it's now going to replace the last ones but we may have blanks in that range which indicate that nothing changed in that region or for that customer or whatever this given situation is for that row in Excel speak now to do this we just copy those fresh values select the previous values and go into our paste special options and I'll choose skip blanks at the bottom left of that dialog so if there is a blank in the range that I have copied then skip it ignore it uh, do not replace it with a blank it means that nothing changed when I click OK keep your eye on that 40 for that first row I can see that that was done the 40 was changed whereas the cells contained a blank were left unaffected and still maintain the previous value so they are our 10 paste special tricks that you need to know to be an Excel pro. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.